guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another ship with me video. I have had quite a few sales over the last couple days. Well, really since my, I uploaded my last thrift haul, that was, let's see, today is Friday and I think I uploaded that on Wednesday. So over Wednesday night and Thursday and then today, Friday. Um, that is what the, these sales encompass. And yeah, I think I counted about 20 sales and several were bundles. So let's go ahead and just get into it. We do have quite a bit today. So first off, I have a two piece Lululemon bundle here. The first item is this romper. It's like this tinsel fabric. This was in the thrift haul. Um, but the other item, it's a pair of leggings. They were not in the thrift haul. So, um, this bundle, I actually remembered to write down prices this time. This is the second piece. These are cropped kind of purple or magenta and black leggings, really nice. I actually picked up both of these items at the bins, so that's always really nice. A super low cost of goods. And they sold in a bundle for $60. Very happy with that. That makes my earnings after Poshmark fees $48. And both of these items are pretty lightweight, so I probably paid about $2 for both, making my net profit $46. I've definitely seen a slowdown with the brand Lululemon. However, I mean, I wouldn't say that's across the board. I think their newer items still sell very well, as well as um, jackets and leggings always do well. But some of the older pieces, and especially tank tops, I have noticed um, don't sell as well. When I first started reselling, literally anything that you uploaded from Lululemon would just fly out of your closet. Tank tops, scarves, anything. But nowadays, I wouldn't say it's like that. It's a little more, I'm a little more picky with the specific items that I will pick up and what I will pay for those. But of course, if I'm grabbing stuff from the bins, I'm happy with anything. Next, we have this Urban Outfitters vest, and this is from their Urban Renewal line. So if you see that tag, let me see if I can show it. There we go. So that is an in-house Urban Outfitters tag. And basically what they do is they take fabrics from vintage pieces like this insert here was probably a sweater and they just kind of sew them together, make them look really cool and create new pieces out of them. It's a really awesome idea and thing to do. And if it's something that's super unique like this, this reminded me of a Kooji sweater. I totally will grab it. I actually ordered this vest from ThreadUp, their outlet, and the reason that I knew it would sell was because it reminded me of a Kooji sweater, which are extremely popular. I'd love to find one one day. So it sold for $25, which made my earnings $20. I did pay $6.50 on the ThreadUp site. And so I made $13.50 from this vest, which I'm always pretty happy with whatever kind of profit I can make from items that I'm ordering that are shipped straight to my home because there's less work involved for me. I can just browse the website and source while I am, you know, watching TV or um, you know, just kind of relaxing so there's less effort and work involved. I'm not driving around. So I'm happy with that $13.50 profit. Okay, next we have a pair of shoes. This is exciting for me. So if you watched my Thread Up versus Joe Mar 
mystery shoe unboxing video. These were in the Jomar, yeah, the Jomar box, and I paid $5 per pair of shoes. I didn't know what these were when I unboxed them. You can see that tag there. I think it's focusing. D-E-I-M-I-L-L-E, -E, made in Italy. I had never heard of the brand before, but I did see that it, they were made in Italy, and I could tell that they were genuine suede, excellent condition. So I was pretty excited to see these in the box. Um, and like I said, I think I said I paid $5 each for all the pairs that came in the Jomar box. And these sold full price for $75. So this was actually another sale that happened right after Posher VA, which I talked about in my last video. It, this sale happened right after Posture VA shared my closet within like minutes. These sold for full price. So I'm almost positive, you know, someone saw them on their newsfeed and liked them and just bought them. So I, I can't say enough good things about Posture VA. And yeah, I think these were really nice shoes. They are great summer shoes. And I hope the buyer enjoys. My earnings were 60 and like I said, I paid five. You know what, I'm gonna get a wider box here. Let me get my, I'm gonna get the 1095. I was just using the 1092 box. This is a 1095. It's just a bit wider and longer. Um, and, I always have, if you guys don't know which boxes to order from USPS.com, it's free if you're in the US to order um, shipping supplies from USPS.com. I have the list of all the boxes that I personally order in the description down below. You can order anything, but that list is just the boxes that work best for me. Next up, we have a blouse or a button down top. This is a Gap extra large chambray pearl snap top. And my mom was actually, um, she saw this in the hall and she was like, Kenzie, I want that shirt. And I was like, sorry, mom, it just sold. So I'm gonna have to find her another one. She loves uh, denim chambray button down top. So I'll keep my eyes out for that. But this sold for $18. I grabbed this from the bins and I probably paid at most a dollar for it. It's pretty lightweight. So my total profit on this top was $13.40. This is definitely a style pickup. I loved the frayed bottom hem and the pearl snaps. This would be so cute to wear to like the rodeo or anywhere really. Okay. Next we have another bundle and this is from a viewer. I saw her comment. I haven't responded to my comments yet on my thrift haul um, just because I have been a little busy, but I'm going to do that th this weekend. So I totally saw your comment. Thank you so much if you're watching this now um, for buying a bundle with me. That always means a lot to me when you guys are so sweet and supportive. Did I say what this was? This is a vintage Southwestern printed sweater. Um, super cute. This sweater and then the pair of shoes were both in the thrift haul and then we have a belt that I ordered from the thread up outlet so this sweater and the shoes I paid two dollars a piece for and then the belt I did pay six fifty so this is the belt it's super cool the reason I wanted to order it was because of this belt buckle. 
it's like vintage buffalo nickels clustered together. I thought that was so cool. And then I could tell from the pictures online that it was genuine leather. It says top grain leather made in USA. So I was very happy with this. They just had it under assorted brands, but I just really, really liked the belt buckle and I'm glad that it's going to a good home. So, um, so we have this. And then lastly, for this bundle, we have this pair of Sam Edelman little booties. I grabbed these from the bins. I mentioned in the haul video, but they're supposed to have a tassel on them, uh, but it was taken off by the previous owner. Or it was probably lost at the Goodwill outlet somewhere, or they were lost. Each boot is supposed to have a tassel, but honestly, I kind of like them better without. I was looking at the stock photos online. I think they're a little bit classier maybe. It's just a very different vibe without the tassels. I think they're a little bit dressier without. But anyways, so everything sold for $72. That made my earnings $57.60. I paid $10.50 for the entire bundle and my net profit was $47.10. So thank you so much again for shopping with me if you are tuning into this video. Going to once again grab my 10.95 box. I might actually have to do a big box to see how this all fits in here. me. I like to line the shoes up before I put them in there. Yeah. Okay. Just like this. And then we'll add the sweater. And yeah, that fits. Okay. I think someone asked why I don't use the USPS shoe boxes and that's because they have like nine times out of ten unless it's boots like over the knee boots when I put them in that box the shoes move up and down and they can get damaged like that the toes and the heels can get damaged from you know constantly being shaken up up and down during the shipping process um, but when they're in this kind of box the shoes move way less because they have uh, more you know on the sides of them they're more enclosed i guess you'd say and also those boxes are not self-adhesive these i just peel off the little sticker protectant and close it up as opposed to having to use you know, a lot of tape to tape up those shoe boxes. So that's why I use these boxes for shoes specifically instead of the USPS shoe box. Okay, next up we have a t-shirt. This is a pink Floyd tie-dye t-shirt. Really cute. I will probably always pick up band tees. They are definitely a classic just like a classically trendy piece. That's kind of a an oxymoron because, you know, trends come and go and something that's classic. I guess I should say it's like there are consistently trendy items. Um, and, you know, I probably wouldn't pay like $5 or, um, you know, I probably wouldn't pay a lot for band tees, but if I can grab them from the bins or my family thrift center outlet where I pay two dollars per item, I will always pick them up. They are great, um, kind of like bread and butter items that people can bundle with or you know just buy outright. This one sold for eighteen dollars, making my earnings fourteen forty. It's so lightweight. I probably paid about a dollar. So. My net profit was $13.46. And that really adds up. If you find 10 
graphic tees at the bins, that's $130. Okay, so next up I have a bundle and it's from a repeat. She is a repeat buyer, but I also watch her videos on YouTube. I don't know if she would want me to say her username and like connect her to the clothing. So I'm not going to mention it, but if you're watching this, thank you so much for buying for me. I love watching your videos. Okay. So, um, it's a four piece bundle. The first piece is this newer tag Zara denim dress. It's a high low hemline. I love this. This would be adorable with like a hat and some booties in the fall fall time or just some sandals in the summertime then we have a newer tag zara as well 100 percent linen brown boxy top i actually have two of these this was the first to sell so that's great this is definitely a very me bundle i would wear all of these pieces so I love the neutral neutral palette here. I think maybe I'll do one more. This CNC leopard printed, it's like a Lyocell button down. And the only newer piece here was the denim Zara dress. And then the other three pieces I have had for several months, I would say. So. We have these three, package those up. Actually, I'm just gonna do two and two, that makes more sense. Okay, so the fourth piece in the bundle is this splendid little green mini dress with the self tie here. You could tie that or you could just have it hanging either way. And it also has a little frayed bottom hem super cute with pockets so a great little dress here let me refold that this bundle sold for $90 I think when she bundled it the price was $95 and she offered me 90 so what an amazing offer that definitely kind of made my day and um, that made my earnings $72 I paid $8 for the bundle, so my net profit was $64. I think these were all outlet finds. Add a tape here. I have been doing really well with staying stocked on my supplies. I ran out, I ran out of stuff um, at one point and it was terrible trying to get by until everything came back in so i am not going to let that happen again <laughs> okay i'm going to put these into the 10 92 box that i made up a second ago but didn't use and just close that up stick this on Alrighty, next up we have another newly listed item, flax, 100% linen, black, half button down tunic top. I mentioned it, but I absolutely love selling flax. It sells so well, especially in um, larger sizes, but even the small sizes sell great too. The whole minimalist, kind of chic linen look has been so popular and the items are just really really well made so this top I I want to say I had it listed at 40 and someone sent me a $35 offer so again such a fair offer I obviously accepted my earnings were 28 I did get this at my at the bins and it's it has a little bit of weight to it, so I, I probably paid about $2. So my net profit was $26 on this top, which is excellent. Okay. 
Next up we have Dolan Left Coast Collection. This was sold through Anthropology. It's a long sleeve striped dress. It almost looks like it has a layered effect, but that's just the design of it. And it's this super soft, stretchy jersey knit material. This looks so comfortable, but it's also so cute. This would be adorable with just some little sandals. And once again, a hat. I'm sure you guys can tell I love hats. And this dress I ordered from ThreadUp. I actually saw it on the website and I did a little bit of research um, looking it up, like, you know, sole comps on Poshmark. And I saw that it was the newer Dolan Left Coast Collection tag. And so that was why I wanted to grab it. Also because I, I thought the style was really cute. And it sold for $25. So my earnings were 20. I paid six from ThreadUp and my net profit was $14, which is great. Moving on, two piece bundle here. These are both adorable and also very newly listed. This is that Morden Mist dress. It's a size 2XL and it has this precious floral print to it. I love the base color of it. I love everything about this dress. Um, I just, I seriously cannot get enough of the print and color and cut of it. I also think it's like a great length and this is the second piece, Gimmicks by BKE sweater with a crochet sleeve and frayed detail. This is a size extra large and the buyer bundled the two and i sent her an offer of 45 dollars with discounted shipping which she did accept making my earnings 34.50 once again both outlet finds so my cost of goods was four dollars for both making my net profit $30.50. A sticker on here. Okay. Next, a pair of jeans. Again, just listed American Eagle. These are a size 14 short, I believe. And anytime you have a size, yeah, size 14 short mom jean, anytime you have a specific size like that, like, you know, short basically or tall or whatever i think it can either go two ways it can either sell really quickly because people have a hard time finding that and they're kind of on the hunt for it or you know it doesn't appeal to um, a large pool of people and so it, it would sit for a while but these sold extremely fast it probably also helps that American Eagle is such a popular brand. I'm sure there are, you know, hundreds of thousands of people out there looking for the specific size in American Eagle specifically. So they sold for full price. This is a full price sale, $30, which is great. I think these I think these retailed at 60, I want to say and they are in great shape. So my net profit on these was $22. Okay, pair of shoes. How cute are these? They're little Club Monaco sandals. They have a red fringe suede detail. These I got in my Thread Up Rescue shoe box and they sold, or I paid $6, and they sold for $25. And so that makes my net profit $14 on these shoes. I don't order the Thread Up Rescue Boxes to make my living on by any means. I mainly use them as a way to supplement my sourcing. It just gives me a higher volume of items to list and um you know items for people to bundle with and buy so 
that's just kind of what I use those for. Okay, this is a very exciting find. So I mentioned it in the haul, but I had never heard of this brand before when I found it at the bins. It's called Nine Seed. So if I have the tag in the haul video, but I was just going through the bins and I saw this tag. It said made in California and that instantly intrigued me. Anything made in California specifically, I will always stop and look up. Anything made in the USA really that looks like it's in good or it looks like good quality. And I was very surprised and happy to see the comps with this brand. So when I listed, when I had this dress listed before it sold, there was only one other available dress and it was listed for over a hundred dollars of this specific style, the Tulum maxi dress. And so when I first got an offer on it, someone sent me like a $25 offer. I immediately declined. I had it listed at 75. That's what the comps were showing. Some had sold even over like 90 ish. Um, I think it retails over a hundred and so I declined the $25 offer. She came back and we countered several times from like 45 to, it ended up selling for 60. And I was able to stay firm on my price and have that confidence that I could get a higher price because there were none other available that were cheaper than mine. So the buyer didn't have an option to go buy it cheaper elsewhere on the Poshmark app. Um, this style of this dress specifically. And so that's something that's good to watch out for. That's usually when I will stay more firm on a price when I know that I'm one of the only ones listed. But you know, on the opposite side, if I had that dress and I saw that 20 others were available and some were listed for lower, I would definitely have, you know, been a lot more flexible. So it all just depends on the you know, market for specific items. So next we have a two piece bundle. The first piece is this rag and bone sweater. Both of these were newly listed um, and both bins picks up, pick, pick ups. Um, this next is the Dolan Left Coast Collection t-shirt. It has a little ruffle sleeve here, super cute. And these are both more kind of basic pieces. So I probably wouldn't have grabbed them at regular Goodwill. There's just a thread on the tag here. Just because they are more basic, they're really cute and I do like them. I would wear them both personally, but because they're so basic, they don't really, uh, you know, I wouldn't pay up for them basically, but I did find them at the bins, which they are, each a solid bins find. So they sold in a bundle for the buyer bundle, the two, and I added, or sorry, I sent her a $32 offer with discounted shipping. She did accept making my earnings $23.14. I probably paid about $1.50 for each of these. And so my net profit was $20.14 on this bundle. Okay. Next up, another bundle. Uh, this is, these are, these were all just listed. So anthropology, moth, cardigan, like a marled knit and cable knit details. I list my sweaters and cardigans year round. They sell for me. Some people don't mind buying out of season and just kind of, you know, putting it up and saving it for the winter time. I do that personally. If there's a sweater that I, that I see that I love, I will totally buy it and just be very excited to wear it for like six months. Um, I will, it's like, you know, and then it's really exciting when you get around to finally being able to wear it. So the second piece, again, another uh, more colder weather item. This is Madewell high low sweater. This sweater specifically, the style of this, well, this specific style sweater 
It was called like the diamond flip sweater or something. Had really good comps when I looked it up in store. So I was happy to find that. And then a kiss band t-shirt, super cute. Actually, I remember I found all three of these pieces at the same time or at the same day at the bins. So that's kind of fun. I found them together. Now they're being shipped out together. So the buyer bundled the free and sent me an offer of $80, which I happily accepted. That made my earnings $64. I paid probably about $5 for everything. So my net profit was $59, which is excellent. Okay. Next, a t-shirt. Again, just listed. This is a tie-dye t-shirt with a Volkswagen graphic on the front. Super cute and retro. I kind of debated on this piece just only because it has a little bit of wear, like wash wear. But it had so many uh, sellable reasons to it. Like it's a size 3X, it has a tie dye, it has the popular fun Volkswagen print that I just could not leave it behind. Um, I listed it for 20 and it sold full price, which was great. My net profit was $15. This is super lightweight, so I paid no more than a dollar for it. And um, I think it's just a really fun piece. I think it'd be cute to wear oversized with like some biker shorts. Okay, next. Another pair of shoes. These are Betsy Johnson purple velvet block heel, block heels. These were another uh, Joe Mar box sale. I actually have another mystery shoe box to unbox, so stay tuned for that soon. I like those boxes because they teach me things. Like, I don't know if I would have picked these Betsy Johnson shoes up like at Goodwill for whatever reason. I really don't know why. They're cute, but I just am kind of unfamiliar with how Betsy Johnson shoes sell, or I was, now I'm more familiar, because these sold for $35. I had them listed for $45, and I got an offer of $35, which I was ecstatic about. I took that. I, like I said, I did pay $5 per pair of shoes, and so my net profit on these was $23. And that's on shoes that I got delivered straight to my house. You know, I didn't have to go out and shop for them. So you have to take that into account really because time is definitely money. And see what I'm talking about with the shoes? Like they just, they don't move. But if they were in the shoe box, they, they really do move around more. So they get less damage this way. Um, and it's easier on me with the self-adhesive. Um, okay, this is really fun. I loved this piece when I found it. I mean, I still love it. It's a midi skirt with a peacock print. Once again, only listed a couple days. Just a really, really adorable statement piece. I would tuck just like a black tank top into this. Or you could even do a graphic t-shirt. That would be really cute. This I had listed for 32, I believe. Yeah. And it's funny, I actually got two offers on it like five minutes in between of each other. And they were each for $25. So I just had to go with, I just accepted the one that came in first. 
I felt like, you know, that was the fair thing to do. So if you're watching this and you were the other person, I don't know if that's a long shot, but I'm really sorry about that. Um, I, you know, I just was trying to be fair and I'm happy that it sold for $25. I got that in my family thrift outlet, so I paid $2 for it. Um, so my net profit was $14 on that. Oh, this sale I had to cancel, unfortunately, because the dress had a stain that I hadn't noticed. So I just messaged the buyer. Um, she's a, re a repeat buyer. She's so sweet. She comments on my videos. She might be watching this, so thank you so much for understanding. I'm really sorry about that. Um, so this I'll just throw away. I had to cancel that. Next, a pair of American Eagle shorts, distressed. And these are the newer tag. I pick up any jeans or shorts from American Eagle that have this newer tag, especially if they have distressing and they're a nice style. These are the Tom Girl Midi shorts. And these I have listed at 28. And someone asked me if I would accept 23, which I thought was super fair. So of course I did. That made my earnings 1840. I got these at the bins and they're very lightweight. I probably paid maybe a dollar fifty for them. And that makes my net profit $17. Okay, our last couple sales here. We have a Graphic t-shirt with Beatles lyrics, Lucy in the Sky with diamonds. I just thought this was precious. Um, another Benz pickup, and this is so incredibly light. I feel like I probably paid like 50 cents for that, but I, on the safe side, I set a dollar, and it sold for 15, made my earnings 12, and my net profit $11 on this. Once again, you know, 10, $15 sales, they all add up, everything adds up, and it probably only took me like 10, 15 minutes to photograph and list this, so I have definitely no complaints here. Plus, I'm rehoming a super cute t-shirt. It's not going to a landfill, it's going to be going to have a new home, a new life, which is always great. And our very last piece, this is an exciting sale, very happy with this. We can end on a nice note, a smart wool quarter zip pullover. That graphic t-shirt and this pullover were both, again, they sold within a couple days. And this sold full price a couple hours ago for $60. Very, very happy about that. It retails, I forget, I want to say like 108. And Smart Wool holds its resale value very well. In the winter time, I probably could have gotten 75 ish for this, but I'm ecstatic about 60. I did only pay $2 for this. And so my net profit came out to $46 on this one piece. And, but I mean, it's, it looks brand new. A lot of these smart wool, the smart wool brand items get small holes in them because they are a super fine merino wool, but this has no flaws. So, um, I think, you know, that's about half price. Um, retail for an excellent condition piece. So I hope she loves it. I hope she enjoys it. And that is it for this ship with me video. I'm looking at this huge pile here of packages that I have to take down that I hope no one is upset at the post office with me for having so many. So we'll see on that. But thank you guys so much for tuning in today and shipping with me. It really does make it more enjoyable. And that went by so fast um, for me. So that's always great. I will see you guys soon. I plan on filming several videos over the next couple weeks. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. And please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. That does help my channel. So thanks guys. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.